Hey everybody, it's Vicar Josh, and I'm going to take a minute to go through a short Zoom tutorial so that some of this new technology that we're having to deal with now doesn't seem so strange and, and confusing. Um, this tutorial will cover how to get into Zoom and how to become part of a meeting either by your phone or by um, a computer. So I'm going to share my screen here. There we go. When you get an invitation from Zoom, it's going to look something like this. Let me bring up my mail. You should have something from the person who's inviting you to the meeting that says, please join Zoom meeting. So you click on that email and it's going to give you two options. First option is where you can join by your phone. Now, two important things to remember with this. If you join by your phone, one, you have no video, so you are not going to be able to see anybody, and nobody's going to be able to see you. We don't even get an option to see your name, so you have to tell us who you are. Two, if you're calling from a regular house phone, this is long distance, so it will charge you if you do not have that in your plan. So please make sure you pay attention to that. Um, if you call from a smartphone, it's different because a smartphone will go through the options and download the app for you and do it by internet and it's not a phone call. It's just like you're on a computer. But from a house phone or a regular old cell phone, this is going to be a long distance call. Now, if you wanted to actually join the meeting with a computer or with your smartphone, you would click this link here. This link is automatically going to open up our web browser. I have Google Chrome, you might have um, whatever Microsoft's new one is, or there's a lot of them out there. Just please don't use Internet Explorer. It's, it's not good for you anymore. So this is going to bring you to Zoom's launch page. On this page, you have two options. You can download Zoom to your computer and then use their program, or if you don't want to go through all that, you can click right here click cancel first but you can click right here where it says join from your browser when you click that option in my case since I'm on the Orion system here at the University I have to log in you would not have to do that um, just give me a second to satisfy the Orion's login credentials so they think so they know I'm not stealing their Jesus secrets and it's going to bring you to zoom's launch page where it's going to ask you to enter your name to join the meeting my name's right there I click join okay that gives us the join meeting icon and then we get an important question it wants to know if we are using this as a phone call or using this with computer audio you always want to choose computer audio okay make sure it's got the white box around it then click the blue button that says join audio by computer once you do that it's going to allow any audio that's coming from the meeting to come through your speakers. Make sure they're turned up. You can do that by coming to the volume section right here and making sure that it's turned up. Make sure if you have a knob on your speakers, it's turned up. That's going to allow you to hear what's going on in the meeting. The only way you're going to be able to be heard in the meeting is if you have a microphone on your computer. Most computers do not come with this from the factory. A lot of times you have to add a microphone. If it's a laptop, you should be in pretty good shape. But if not, you probably have to add something. Okay, so that was the first way to log in. Let's clear out of here. Okay, close that out. Now, say we wanted to join zoom because in the way where we've already downloaded the app onto our computer you would again click that link because that's the easiest way to get there you would wait for google chrome to do its thing and this time instead of telling it to join from browser you would hit open zoom if you've already downloaded it or it'll say download here if you have not and click open zoom and once it thinks about it for a second, it's going to open the Zoom program right here in the middle of our screen. There we go. 
and you see it automatically joins me into the meeting. Okay. When you join a meeting, make sure you have yourself muted because if you don't, then all of the background noise that you're making behind you in your house is going to be transferred into the meeting and it makes it really hard for anybody to hear. So make sure if you're not supposed to be talking right then, mute yourself. Okay. Um, you can, if you have a video on your computer, like a camera on your computer or your laptop, you can start your video and that'll bring your face up on the screen, which would be great. We can talk to you instead of just this name right here. But if not, it's not a big deal. As long as you can hear us and we can hear you, that's what's important. Okay. So hopefully that answers some of the questions about Zoom. Let me get the endless void here off. Hopefully that answered some of your questions about Zoom and makes things a little bit easier. If you have other questions about it, let me know. I'm glad to help as much as I can. Um, as long as you have a regular computer, you know, laptops tend to be better because they have the webcam and the microphone built in. But if you've got a regular household computer, a desktop, and you've got a webcam or at least speakers and a microphone, you should be okay. Um, if not, then I would suggest using the smartphone to download the app because with the smartphone, you get everything all in the app. Um, and worst case scenario, you know, call in on that long distance number. At least we'll be able to talk to you. Those are your options with Zoom. Um, it's not a perfect system, but it is much better than some of the stuff we had before. So if you have any questions, let me know. I'm going to work on getting a paper guide.